How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Dividend Compounders with Cheese. Today, let's go ahead and talk about NNN REIT. I'm just going to refer to them as Triple N. This is a REIT in the business of raising dividends for more than 34 years, with a very similar business model to Realty Income Corporation. So Triple N, it sounds like a WWE wrestler's name, but Triple N is currently trading for about $40 per share. And if you look at their 52-week range, it's not cheap or expensive. So in this video, we are going to look at the intangibles, the finances, and run some valuation models to determine if it's a delicious or a disgusting dividend stock. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the fear and greed index to see what emotion is driving the market now. So apparently it's a 67, which is in the category of greed. But you want to keep in mind this is all semantics because greed could also mean that Wall Street and investors are optimistic about the stock market. About a month ago, it was extreme greed in the stock market, but I think it's going down and down as time is going on in this new year. So this is a YouTube channel that is focused on dividend compounders. So let's go ahead and check out their dividend over the years. So Triple N has been paying a consistent dividend since 1990. And in 1990, the quarterly dividend payment was 26 cents per share. And as you fast forward throughout the years, it does in fact look like Triple N has been increasing that dividend payment. And as of recently in January 30th, the quarterly dividend payout has been 56 cents per share. Triple N currently has a 5.54% dividend yield and the annual payout is $2.26 per share. At 5.5%, that is looking pretty juicy. And take a look at the stock price back in 1990. Triple N used to trade for 85 cents a share. And as you fast forward throughout the years, just look what happened to their stock price. Let's see what happened right before the Great Recession. They were trading for about $10 a share. And when the Great Recession was in full throttle, their stock price crashed all the way down to $4.88 a share. And prior to the pandemic, Triple N was trading for about 45 dollars a share but then it crashed all the way down to 23 dollars and then it recovered and now it is what we see today and the trading multiple is 12.6 you can think of that as the pe ratio because this is a reit so we're going to look at the price to affo as their ratio the industry average is 13.5 so compared to their peers fellow reits they are a little undervalued but more importantly we want to know how has triple n performed over the years so for the past 10 years the total return was was 101%. This is a 7.15% year-over-year Kager. It's pretty respectable. It's pretty good. Everything that we have seen so far is a green light and a green flag. There is nothing bad yet. Let's go ahead and talk about their business model and if they have an economic moat. So how does Triple N make revenue? Triple N owns properties in which businesses need to rent in order to operate their business. So a company will sign a long-term lease with Triple N and pay monthly to keep the lights on. Triple N owns about 3,511 properties across 49 U.S. states with a 99.2% occupancy rate. That is very important and it's a very good number to see. Solid numbers and their portfolio is even diversified across all industries. About 16% are convenience stores all the way down to 2.3% of being home improvement stores. Triple N's biggest clients are convenience stores like 7-Eleven, fast food joints like Arby's and Taco Bell, and Mr. Car Wash. What makes Triple N unique, similar to Realty Income Corporation, is that they offer triple net lease agreements to their commercial clients. In a triple net lease, the tenant must pay all the expenses of the property, including real estate taxes, building insurance, and maintenance. Additionally, in most cases, tenants are also responsible for conducting repairs and baking in costs to remodel the property to stay up to date. Therefore, as a triple net lease, REIT, think of Triple N as a financing company rather than a traditional REIT as they do not have to dabble much in property management. Basically what they do is they purchase properties to lease it back out to the operators, usually with very long lease durations. Their average lease length right now is 10.2 years. Triple N's business model is really profitable and it shows because they only need 77 employees to run the operations and that includes the executive executive leadership team. And on a side note, I think it's kind of funny that they advertise the 34 consecutive annual dividend increases all over their website. If you scroll down, it's like right here. I guess they like to boast about it because I think it is something worthy to note because a lot of REITs, especially during the recession and the pandemic, they had to freeze or even cut 
their dividend payment, but not triple N. And this company is super under the radar. Nobody is talking about them. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at their most recent investor presentation and see the highlights they wanted to update the shareholders. First one is going to be on slide six. Triple N wanted to call out their 39 year track record of surviving all macroeconomic conditions, which is a huge plus for an investor to know because some companies don't have the balance sheet or leadership team to steer them on the right course when a storm will hit. 39 years of sailing through the storms and 34 years of consecutive dividend payment increases. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at slide 10. Triple N's disciplined acquisition approach. They try not to price their tenants out of the locations. They would rather focus on continued partnerships and sustainability. They pass off the lower costs as lower rent payments for their clients so that they can keep them in that building. And I think this is really strategic because it probably reduces the turnover rate. Like the clients that they have right now are probably the same clients that they're going to have in 10, 20, 30 years. And on slide 13, you can see the distribution of all their properties across the United States. I would say they're pretty balanced, but they're mostly consolidated in the South and in the Midwest. And Triple N is investing heavily into Texas, Florida, and Ohio. Next, we're going to take a look at slide 14. Triple N's strategy results in higher occupancy and less volatility. So I guess what we talked about earlier is actually true. Keeping the costs low incentivizes their clients to re-sign their leases when the time is up. And even through the Great Recession back in 2009, Triple N's occupancy rate never fell below 96.4%, which is actually really impressive. Meaning out of 100 buildings that they own, at least 96 of them had a client paying rent to Triple N. As a rate, that's a wonderful thing to see. And last but not least, we are going to run some value valuation models to figure out the intrinsic value for triple N. And then we're going to compare that to what the Wall Street analysts believe the price target should be. So the first valuation model is going to be the REIT multiples model. So essentially, we're going to be taking a look at companies in the same industry as triple N to figure out how the market values them to derive a value for triple N. And to do that, we're going to be looking at the price to AFFO multiple. So the companies in question are going to be Vici, Realty Income, Four Corners, and Stag Industrial. Real. The median price to AFFO is 14.9. And as a quick refresh, the AFFO takes into consideration the maintenance costs associated with the properties that keep them up and running. You deduct reoccurring overhead fees and make these adjustments to the FFO. So for a rate, the FFO, the funds from operations, the best way that I can describe it is think of a normal company's free cash flow, the FFO. Anyways, the rate multiples valuation gives Triple N a stock price of. $48 a share. The current price is $40. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the net asset value. This is a lot of calculations and running numbers, and it's very speculative. Essentially, the NAV seeks to figure out the actual value of the REIT's holdings by taking its market value and subtracting all of their debts. So by using a 7% growth rate and a 5.3% cap rate, the NAV price per share is going to be $33.91 per share. And finally, we're going to be looking at the dividend discount model, which is going to give us an intrinsic value based on its dividend growth rate. So over the years, the average growth rate for triple N is 3.12%. However, we want to be conservative and safe. So I'm going to go ahead and shave off that 0.12% and just plug in 3% into the equation and formula. This gives us a DDM value for triple N, $46.56 per share, which takes us to the conclusion. What is the intrinsic value for triple N? I'm going to need a drum roll, please, Jimmy. Ba -ba 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 so the intrinsic value for triple N is going to be $42.84 per share. Let's go ahead and compare that to what Wall Street believes the price should be. So Wall Street thinks that the price should be $46 per share. So it looks like we were a little bit more bearish and it looks like Wall Street is a little bit more bullish on triple N. So after hearing everything, the business model, the intangibles and looking at the finance, finances, you want to jump in, but you're not sure of what price. Let's go ahead and try to figure that out together. So it's current price of $40 per share with a margin of safety, 10% baked in. Then essentially you're looking to buy when it's at $38.56 per share. But let's go ahead and assume that you want to play it more safe and say you want 20% of a margin of safety baked in. Then your acceptable buy price is going to be $34.27 a share. What is my recommendation? 
what are my thoughts after looking at everything? I think Realty Income Corporation gets all of the attention, especially among dividend investors. With that said, I think Triple N is under the radar. However, their valuation says the investors already know about them. They are priced fairly. Our intrinsic value is $42 and its current trading price is around $40. As such, I will be adding them to my watch list and keeping my eye on them to see if they ever go on a dip for a buying opportunity. Not going on a dip because they do something bad, but if they go on a dip because of macroeconomic conditions or fear in the market, personally, I'll probably look to jump in at around $38 or so. And when we think about their valuation compared to their peers, they're slightly undervalued. Anyways, please do your own due diligence and research to figure out if you like Triple N. Because for me, I like it. I think it's a dividend compounder with cheese. It gets my seal of approval. Anyways, I'm signing off. I'll talk to you guys next time. Stay safe.